us here is Jessie. She's a trainee training search and rescue dog. She's about 14, 15 months old, and we've been training since she was about six months old. Jessie. Okay. So Jessie here is training at the moment to be a trailing dog. So she works differently to our air scenting dogs in that she gets the scent of the missing person before she starts searching. So we use maybe the person's jacket, maybe something from their home, like their pillowcase, um, a hat that they may have been wearing the previous day. And the dog will use that to get an idea of what that person that they're looking for smells like. And then the dog will keep that in their mind and will search, could be for hours afterwards based on that scent. And in her case, she will ignore everything else that's there, whether it's other people, you know, members of the Gardaí, other search teams, even family members of the person who's missing. And she will work through all of that until she finds the trail of the missing person left. So when Sarda would turn up at a search, the first step is to get an idea of the search area, the person that's missing, maybe how long they've been missing, what they were last seen wearing, what direction they may have headed in, any kind of information that we can gather that might help us decide where we should be searching. And then we would normally bring the dog out and get them ready. So our dogs would wear uh, search jackets and they would have different bits of gear that the dog would be used to seeing. And when the dog sees that jacket, and when the jacket gets put on, it knows that it's going working. So it's kind of the start of the, the game for the dog. And it takes quite a bit of training to be able to do that with them. Um, and it's generally something that can take two or three years to train and then, you know, the lifetime of the dog after that until retirement. 